Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the R&D YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about two different types of additive manufacturing offered by Stratasys and that's FDM and Polyjet. We'll not be talking about SLA today as we do not have that technology in-house. I will also be talking about the reason why you'd print something on a Polyjet printer over an FDM and vice versa. So this can be a very informative video guys, stay tuned. Alrighty, to start off, I'm going to show you this really cool promotional video put out by Stratasys on the J850 Polyjet technology. Now, with the Stratasys J850, you can print into up to 500,000 different colors and pantones. And that gives you the ability to print in many different textures like wood, leather, uh, translucent, and a whole plethora of other different things. Uh, really endless possibilities. Unfortunately, you can't do metal textures at the moment. So really, the main reason you print something in Polyjet over FDM is the quality of the print. You can get down to six ten thousandths of an inch for layer height, which is something you cannot get on an FDM printer. Also, you can print in polypropylene-like materials on this, like I mentioned before, all different colors. So really, this is a great prototyping machine, not really for end use due to the strength of the photopolymer resins. Alrighty, now let's transition over to FDM, and I'm going to show you another great promotional video about some of the FDM machines Stratasys offers.
FDM is one of the first 3D printing technologies to ever be invented back in 1984 by actually one of the founders of Stratasys. FDM stands for Fused Deposition Modeling, and it takes a spool of plastic and runs it to the hot end of a printer that then melts it, sort of like a really advanced hot glue gun. Now this machine I'm standing in front of right here is, a, is the F370, which is one of the printers mentioned in the video that I just played for you guys. Um, this machine in particular offers materials ranging from ABS, ASA, TPU, Diran, and PLA, uh, and Stratasys also offers a large range of other materials on the other printers that we have. Now, unlike the Polyjet side of 3D printing, Stratasys actually offers a very wide range of uh, FDM printers. You know, Polyjet does have you know a few objects, the J55 and the A50, and they'll be expanding that line in the future. But with FDM, they have things ranging from the 120 all the way up to the 900, which is the uh, flagship, I guess, printer with the, one of the largest build volumes available on the market today. So why would you print something in FDM over Polyjet? Well, most of the time it's because of the strength and the range of materials. So one of the materials in particular you can print on the 380s and the 450s is something called Ultum. Ultum is a very high temp material and I believe uh, one of, there's two different types, 1010 and 9085, and they can reach, uh, they can withstand temperatures up words of 300 degrees Celsius, which is very, very tough. Um, and also the ABS materials that Stratasys offers as well are very, very strong. Um, also you can print in flexible materials uh, in TPU on the 370, and this flexible material is a little bit stronger than what you'd find on the Polyjet, uh, simply because uh, just how the material is made and uh, it's sure 95, uh, which those range from, you know, all the way down to like 30 to 95, but they're not as strong on the Polyjet. Alrighty, conclusion time. You've now seen why you'd print something on FDM over Polyjet and vice versa. So make sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe to the R&D YouTube channel. Also check us out on all of our social media pages where you'll find a plethora of awesome additive manufacturing content. So thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.